Greetings, students. Welcome to this video lecture series on computer applications for class 10. Chapter number 3 Introduction to HTML, part 5. This is the last part of the chapter 3 where we will see HTML lists. So we begin directly with the lists where we left. This is the final topic of the third chapter. And uh, we begin with we have four types of list over here so we will look in uh, look into the unordered list which is uh, and here uh, on the right hand side we have the syntax of all these lists we will see them in detail in the programming section so unordered list will uh, the list that you see here is ordered list in the sense that we are able to see the roman numerals the Roman numerals as well as the one over here. So this is ordered. This is known as the ordered list represented with the OL inside the angular brackets and the closing tag. Then we have definition list with the syntax uh, DL inside opening and closing tags. And then we have nested list. So definition list is just like the dictionary. It will appear just like a dictionary where we have a term and then we have the meaning of term uh, from the next line so here we can define some terms and we can give the definition of those terms in the next line finally we will look into the nested list where we will look that we can create list inside the list for example if I say what are the various foods that one can eat so you will uh, maintain the list called vegetables you will say vegetables or non vegetarian or fruits so inside vegetables then you will create another list called where you will mention the name of vegetables cabbage cauliflower ladies finger etc inside non vegetarian chicken fish etc so there is a list inside the list we will look, look into this in detail in the coming programs Continued so ordered list order list each list are marked with numbers as we can see these are the list of uh, items We wish to tell you in the point number one and each item start with li So you will first define the ordered list with this syntax then between these ordered list you will then define li list item li1 li2 and uh, by default the list item will start with 1 2 3 and not the roman numerals or the alphabets we have used over here they will start with 1 2 3 right so the attributes of order list where we can change we do, if we do not want to write 1 2 3 rather we would like a a b c small a or the new roman numerals over here so we can change that in attributes of ordered list first attribute where we can do this is type so the numbering of list can be changed to a letter or a roman numerals by the type attribute so ordered list here itself we have to mention the attribute in the opening tag of ordered list so we have to simply type ol type equals value so value here will be a capital A or uh, I is not I it is rather the Roman numeral in small and this is capital I or it is the first Roman numeral start attribute of order list so this is the syntax so order list start equals number type equals value this attribute is used to change the beginning value suppose I do not want to start my list from 1 2 3 4 rather I would like to start it from 11 12 13 14 then I can use ol start equal to 11 and type equals to type equals to if I write i for a small roman numeral then my uh, the roman 11 will appear over here and roman 12 13 14 so type we have to mention which type of uh, numbering we will use Suppose we want to change the starting digit of the list of elements. Normally the list begins with 1 as we see in this case. 
then HTML ordered list type values again we see this is the default value 1 2 3 4 5 then this is the uppercase Roman numerals these are the values which we can take lowercase uh, Roman numerals uppercase alphabet lowercase alphabet so we can type this in the we can type this in the value in the ordered list opening tag unordered list ul and attribute so unordered list we can see in this case there are no numbers in this slide so to explain it to you guys we have here we can see these are known as the bullets this is first bullet of type square but the square we have used here is empty square not a solid fill square so an unordered list will start with the ul syntax which you must have guessed and between this ul and closing tag of ul we will insert l1 li l which stands for list index right so it always has to be li and it will mark uh, the in the web page it will show one two three four itself you have to always write li each list item starts with here inside these three dots is where we have to mention our items for example we will see the example in the program then comes the attributes so the, of course we would like our bullet to look like this or maybe our bullet to look like this over here or maybe our bullet to look like these over here so we can mention that specifically by you know ul type equals to under uh, double quotes we will write square or disk or circle to mention specifically what kind of bullet we would like to have in our unordered list definition list so as the word itself suggests we are defining something so when we define something firstly we have a term and then we have a definition of the term so this is a list of items where description of each item follows the term so the following tags are used in the definition list so dl is the opening tag and then there is corresponding closing dl tag so here i have shown you the syntax as well so between dl definition list opening and definition list closing we will write the dt which is the term which we wish to define right definition term right and then close the term and then we will write definition description what that term is for example you write here evaporation over over here you write evaporation and over here you will in the DD you will define what is evaporation is the process of conversion of water from liquid to gas so that you will write over here in the in the description definition description evaporation will come here and the description will come over here finally the nested list so list can be nested inside uh, each other that means one list can be placed inside each other in the nested list one or more items can contain a sub item we will see the example of this in the program all right students here we will see all the four kinds of list in this example so we will start with so this is the first comment we enter over here all list we start with uh, like any other html program
start with unordered list. We can mention the attribute of uh, an ordered list as type equals square. Save this as HTML file. So we see the square is appearing over here which of the following is not edible but now we would like this to be if this is a multiple choice question we would like this to be one two three four so that we can tell the answer that answer is one or two or three here we have to specifically mention word right so we can do some changes over here and make this as ordered list right Simply instead of you, we can just backspace this and make it ordered list. Now we need to remove this square, rather, we have to mention whether we want it Roman numeral. So, if we make it capital I, so now it will understand that we want it to be Roman numeral. Click on save, close the program, reopen it. right so now we have the roman numerals now this is the ordered list we have we can see one two three four in previous case we were seeing the square so we were not able to understand which of them we can tell so here we can say option number two or option number three but in previous case it was just there was no order all of them were in random order so this is the ordered list Third is the definition list. Right, we'll keep this as well.
so there must be a term that we need to define definition term right then there is a definition description here you will tell what the what is the definition of this definition term right so here is our definition term and here is the definition so it, it will show the definition by giving some indent so you see this is space from here till here this is known as an indent the spelling of indent is i n d e n t so indent simply means some space that we leave from the left margin leaving some space this is known as the indent to make it a uh, look better we can make this as bold right so all of it is bold because we did not put a forward slash here save this again Now this gives a better understanding of what this this is sort of a heading and this is sort of explanation for that so this is uh, the definition list it is list if we have more than one component over here so we need to define another term All right, now we have two terms in this defined list. We did not save this. Open. So now in this definition list, if we ignore this much, we will see that this is the definition. So this pretty much looks like a dictionary. If you have seen a dictionary, there will be a term and then they will leave some indent over there and then they will define the term so this pretty much looks like a dictionary finally we have nested list so for nested list we need to clear most of this okay we'll just declare it here so here we can um, use the hr or the horizontal rule to differentiate between different types of list HR
the nested list is a list inside of uh, another list right so we will now see the list of foods We defined an ordered list OL Here we will mention LI So first list item we'll define here is Vegetables Inside vegetable, we will define yet another list. So this is one list item here. Again, we will define an ordered list, right? Hmm. This ordered list will uh, generally be of one to three here after list. Index, we can define another ordered list. Please note that uh, inside this OL and this OL, we are defining another ordered list. So we are defining a list inside of list. So here we will differentiate the type. Small Roman numerals. So name some vegetables, cabbage, and So this is the list of uh, vegetables next uh, we have come out of this vegetables now we need to define another um, list item called fruits so inside fruits again we will define another ordered list We'll define three fruits inside this list. Right, so this is the end of to make this more readable, we will use comments. Right, let us now save it and see what happens. Right, what we have done is we have made 
Inside the vegetables, we have mentioned cabbage, tomato, potato, and fruits. Which fruits we need to have here as point number two. Then one, two, three should come under the fruits. So let us see what we have done over here. Is ordered list we have defined. So first is vegetables. Second is All right. All right, so here's the fault. We need to close this ordered list this list over here we have done the wrong syntax we need to put the backslash over here and save it so here we get our proper list right so this uh, these we see this horizontal rule these are three kinds of list the first is the we firstly we saw the unordered list this is the ordered list this is the defined list where we have defined terms like the names and what those names define we have written the definition of those names over here finally we saw a list inside a list so inside a list called vegetables this is the list of foods one can eat so firstly vegetables in vegetable we have another list of names of vegetables similarly fruits over here similarly i want you to uh, continue the program you can write non-vegetarian food then you can write chicken then you can further divide non-vegetarian into fish seafood and uh, the poultry food you can do a lot of classifications by means of this so that is all i hope this is very clear you can uh, type in the comment section for further explanations and this is uh, the program so it became a kind of big program because we covered all the list over here thanks for watching so that is all students thank you all for watching and jai hind stay tuned for the next lecture